I made a video a couple. <clears throat> I made a video a couple months ago talking about short people advantages. And when I think about it, there's a lot more disadvantages that like really suck. Now I'm five four. And I'm the tallest in my family out of my dad, my mom, and my sister. My sister is 10 years older than me, and she's- And one day when we were going to the fair, someone thought that my sister was my little sister. And from that point on, I've been making a list of just short people disadvantages that only we face. Yes, I'm excluding tall people, average height people, but no one cares about average height people. Number one, you can't reach anything. Being the tallest in the family of all short people, when you're in the house and some idiot decides to put the cups at the very top shelf, we have to like climb onto the first shelf and then reach up to the next one. So you know how you have like your table counters and then you have your shelves? I have to stand up on the table counters. Number two, you have to walk twice as fast to keep up with people. I don't experience this because I've learned to just walk faster, but some of my friends, they but some of my friends, their running pace is other people's walking pace. Number three, everyone leans on you. Everyone. They put their arm and their head on your shoulders, and they don't take into account that they're actually really heavy and we're not. Number four, you're cute. You're little. You're tiny. You're adorable. One of the hardest things for short people to be called is hot because they always look like seven-year-olds. Number five, you get talked down to. Literally. Number six, you get easily lost in crowds. For me, if I'm with a group of friends, I normally just um, hold onto their hand, grab their backpack, get a piggyback ride. Number seven, you're always in the middle seat on cars. Oh, don't worry, he'll fit, he's tiny. Number eight, if someone sits in front of you at a movie theater, you can't see shit. All right, I already lost count. Before you tell people, have you ever experienced banging your hip on a countertop? No pain compares to that except growing pains, but we don't get those. Another thing, I went to a restaurant one time and the people asked me if I wanted the kids menu. For my definition of kid, I think that's one through 12 years old. I'm 15 and a half. Um, how about the fact that my username has midget in it? And then last thing, the worst thing, the most unnecessary extra thing that anyone can do to a short person is say, can I pet you? No, I'm not a dog, I'm not a cat, I'm not your 13 year old guinea pig that's gonna die pretty soon. So yeah, those are just a couple of short people disadvantages. I'm sure I'm gonna get more because I'm not gonna grow anytime soon. Either I somehow time traveled through puberty or it decided not to show up in my genes. But I guess that's good because if I was tall, I couldn't call myself that midget Asian. I'd just be that Asian. And if you couldn't tell by now, I'm kind of sick. Yeah, and I'm also recording this on Saturday, so I should go. And I'm also recording this the day I should upload it, so I'm gonna go edit now. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below about if you're tall or you're short, and tell me about your experience with it. Average people, you're not allowed to have a say in this. This is a battle against the tall versus short. Um, and what was I gonna say? Subscribe, because I post videos every Saturday. And I love you guys, and everything is less than three. Oh, one more thing about being short, I can wear kids clothes.